Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pasnodi Suman, consultant pediatrician, and this video is about the expert's opinion on COVID-19 third wave and one rare complication of COVID-19 which is seen in children called MISC. Coming to the most happening question all around the globe, is there any possibility of a third wave in the coming months? Yes, there is a possibility of a third wave and it almost looks inevitable, but it is difficult to predict its timing and severity. The next most discussed in the media these days is whether children are at greater risk compared to adults in the coming third wave. The latest Zero survey which was conducted in December and January have showed that the percentage of the infected children in the age group of 10 to 17 years was around 25 percentage, which is same as adults. Recently, Indian Academy of Pediatrics and AIMS Director have clearly stated that chance of children getting affected are same as adults and there are no evidences that the kids will be affected more in the third wave. But there have been several reports from the few states saying that positive cases in the children are in rise over the past few weeks and one among them is 8000 kids tested positive in a single district in Maharashtra. And there is another news report from Andhra Pradesh showing the rise in cases among the children. Now we'll see what is MISC, that is Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome in children. Till now, coronavirus seems to usually cause a milder infection in kids. But some children have developed more serious symptoms. And sometimes these symptoms have developed several weeks after being infected with the virus. This presentation is called as Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome in children. And as of now, we don't know why some kids get missed after coronavirus infection and others don't. For parents, it can be alarming to see headlines focused on several sick children. But this condition can be treated and many children who develop MISC don't get critically ill or require intensive care. Most importantly, the majority of the children who are treated for this recover completely. Now, I'll discuss about the signs and symptoms of this condition. Children have developed this condition weeks after being infected with the virus. That is, a minimum of 2-3 to three weeks after recovering from the COVID-19. Some children with MISC test positive for the virus while others test positive for the coronavirus antibodies indicating that they were infected but no longer have the virus. The most common symptom is high grade fever which usually won't come down with any of these medications. And next one is severe abdomen pain or vomiting or loose stools, red cracked lips, red eyes, being extra tired, swollen hands or feet and swollen lymph nodes can also develop skin rash, same like shown in this image. Emergency warning signs of this condition include severe stomach pain, difficulty breathing, pale or blue colored skin change over the lips and nail beds, or acting confused or inability to wake up or stay awake. If your child has any of these symptoms, rush to the hospital immediately because kids with this syndrome may quickly get worse. Now, we'll see what other problems can happen due to this condition. This can cause different problems in different children. The inflammation can affect the heart, blood vessels, kidneys, digestive system, brain or eyes. Sometimes, this can damage the organs, especially the heart or cause too much clotting in the blood vessels. All the information said till now might look scary for many parents, but don't panic. This is still a relatively rare condition that has occurred in less than 1% of the COVID positive children. Now we'll see how is this condition diagnosed. MISC symptoms can be similar to those caused by other illnesses such as Kawasaki disease or toxic shock syndrome. If your doctor suspects that your child might have MISC, they will do tests that look for signs of inflammation in the body. This can include blood test and urine test, COVID-19 test, chest x-ray and abdominal ultrasound. Tests to look at heart such as ECG and echocardiogram might also be needed in some cases. Now we'll see what is the treatment for this condition. How doctors treat this condition depends on your child's symptoms and test results. Some children might need treatment in the ICUs. The treatment includes fluids for dehydration, oxygen to improve breathing 
and medicines that lower the chances of blood clots and aspirin to ease heart concerns and antibiotics to protect against infection your child may also need treatments that lower swelling and inflammation like ivig and steroids now we'll see what to be done after recovery from this condition most children with this condition get better after being treated in the hospital but some can have long lasting problems and need care from specialists after they go home children who develop heart problems due to misc will need regular visits with a cardiologist they may have to avoid exercise or sports for a while until the cardiologist says it's okay the final saying of this video is this condition is very very rare and the best way to avoid this is to prevent your child from getting coronavirus infection hope i have given enough information regarding this mystery syndrome in these children if you have any further queries please do ask in the comment section and further health related educational videos please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching